Adam changes his money order. Next day I told my story to all the villagers. The villagers were angry. Martha was very unhappy. She said, Saul is working very hard. He is sending money and we can't have the money. What are we going to do? I did not know. Then in the evening the schoolteacher came to my house again. Adam, perhaps I can help you, the schoolteacher said. Here is a letter to Mr. Sheth. Mr. Sheth, I said, who is he? He's an important man in Darpur, and he's a friend of my wife's cousin, replied the schoolteacher. This letter is to Mr. Sheth. The letter is about your money order. Perhaps he can help you. I took the letter and thanked the schoolteacher. So I travelled to Darpur again on Saturday for the third time. After a long time I found Mr. Sheth's house. The door was opened by a tall man. Can I see Mr. Sheth? I asked. And who are you? The tall man asked. I have a letter for Mr. Sheth, I replied. I see. Can I have the letter, please? And the tall man held out his hand. The letter is here, I said, and I took the letter out of my pocket. But I must see Mr. Sheth. Many people want to see Mr. Sheth, the tall man told me. He is a very busy man and a very important man. Mr. Sheth is not here at the moment, but give me your letter and Mr. Sheth will read it later. I gave the tall man the letter. Then I waited. Later a large black car came, and a man went into the house. A long time later the tall man opened the door again. Come in now, please, and follow me, he said. I followed the tall man. We went into a large room with fine carpets and big chairs. Another man was in the room. He was drinking. This is Mr. Sheth, said the tall man. I am Adam of Minter Village, I replied. <laughs>